Hello everybody and welcome back to Outcast Studios. I hope you've all had a lovely day and more importantly, welcome back to Starsick. I'm pretty sure this is, well I'm, I was about to say episode 4 then, but it's not really, it's it's session 4. So welcome to the start of session 4. Um, I, I have my back turned for one very specific reason and that's the, uh, that's, that's because uh, in the last session I left off uh, building, or at least setting to build, uh, the base that I want to use for uh, the the future of this series. And uh, this is it, or at least this is part of it. Um, the reason I didn't want to sort of turn around and reveal, that it's getting dark so I need to do this quickly, uh, but the reason I didn't want, and you know what, actually I'll talk about this afterwards, it's the sun setting, I, I thought I had more time than this. Um, but yeah, I, long story short, I figured out what I need to do since the last episode. I figured out that there's this whole constellations page of, you know, Visio, Evitas, Eviriso, and Armara. And I also realized that I actually have all of the constellation papers. So I, I don't actually have to look, look for any more of them. And I also, also figured out that I need to start using this resonating wand at night to find some very specific ore uh, that only spawns underground at bedrock level. And we need to get this very quickly before the sun comes up and I'm not able to do the thing that I need with the ore that I'm about to take. Which is a very long-winded and complicated way of saying things, but that's just how we do it over here in the Outcast Studios uh, studio. <laughs> So let's quickly block off the water flow. Um, oh, we need one more block for that. This is probably extremely dangerous, but also, you know, it's just how we do things here. Uh, let's put a torch down. Now, it's probably extremely dangerous, like I just said, to mine straight down. But I personally think I'm going to be okay. Plus, you know, we have the gravestones mod installed, so if I do die, I'll just wake up in bed and come and grab my stuff. Ooh, dimensional shards, hello. Uh, right, uh, I should probably take this. As much as I don't need it right now, dimensional shards are something I want to keep track of. Uh, but yeah, let's keep going down. We need to be at about Y4 in order to find what we're looking for here. Um, so we need to go down still about 20 blocks. What is this? Gabbro. I can't say I've ever heard of Gabbro before. That's some more dimensional shards, some arcane crystal. Don't mind if I do. Uh, let's quickly just replace the weathered limestone with the arcane crystal. Easy decision to make, really. I'm, I'm guessing it's through here? Or somewhere around here? Oh! It is right there, rock crystal. Okay, how did I miss you? Oh, that's a lot of you. Okay, um... These things don't stack, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, there we go. Rock crystal, rock crystal, rock crystal, rock crystal. That's all of them, right? So this is shape 2, size 3, purity 2, purity 1, tool efficiency 3, and size 1, shape 3. Um, is there any more nearby? Or have I, have I grabbed it all? I think I've grabbed it all, right? Okay, yes, I have. Right, we need to quickly pop up back to the surface, and once we're on the surface, I promise I'll explain everything to you. You know what, while I'm towering up, I could probably explain everything to you now that I think about it, because it's not like it's a task that requires much mental fortitude. Uh, but to put things simply, those rock crystals are one of the rarest ore in the game. Uh, they don't stack, because all of them have completely unique uh, properties to them. Um... And they're basically used for everything in this mod. They're used to create tools, they're used to create magic spells, they're used to build things. Um, and basically, a lot of the time, the effects that the rock crystal have will affect the, uh, like, abilities of the tool that you use them to craft. Uh, so for example, these ones are size 1, shape 3, so they'd be useless for tools, but this one's tool efficiency 3, purity 1. Which means for a ritual, it would be terrible, but for tools, it would be the highest quality thing you could get. Uh, so let's just open up exploration, and we want to craft ourselves a light well, which is ruined marble, chiseled marble, and ruined marble. We have one ruined marble, and we have no chiseled marble, so we re need to be really quick and run over there to harvest the uh, temple. The, the, um, 
we need to tear down that temple, basically, for uh, resources that we can use to build things with. Can you fuck off? There we go. Because they have everything you need except for ruined marble, but I can hopefully EMC that. So let's quickly just hop up here and grab these. Uh, I do not have the inventory space for these, apparently. Oh, will you fuck off? Where did you go? You know what? Not gonna question it. Oh, hi. Oh, fuck off. I don't have time for you. Or you. Right. I need these. Gimme. Gimme, 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 gimme. There we go. And the fourth one. Rises in the east, sets in the west. It's rising from that direction, so we actually have quite a bit of time, really, but I want to make sure I get everything done that I can, and that includes setting up the light well. Um, again, I'll explain everything to you, uh, or at least everything important to you, after I've got the stuff, but for now, uh, just bear with me, deal with this, uh, and all will be revealed in due time. Take the rune shit. I hate to defile this place, considering it's the only place I have a crystal right now. Uh, but, you know, needs are necessary. Oh, my starlight's going down. Shit, what's the recipe? It's ruined marble, aquamarine, chiseled marble. Okay, ruined, 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 aquamarine. Oh, come on, come on, come on, chiseled marble, please. No, shit, what's the recipe? And the rock crystal. The rock crystal, the rock crystal, the rock crystal, the rock crystal. Wait, what? Uh, oh shit, no, aquamarine, and aquamarine, and rock crystal, which one's this? Size one, shit, no, I need shape two, come on, please, no, no, oh, come on, why does night last for like two minutes? Ah, uh, ah, <laughs> uh, shit. Okay. Well, I guess now that I've got to wait until night time hits, I can actually explain what I was trying to do. So basically, in between episodes, I figured out how to actually use the Astral Sorcery mod. Or at the very least, I figured out how to advance myself enough that I could get through a recording session. And it turns out that um, I didn't need to read all of that shit in the Astral Tome. I basically only needed to... Uh, craft the next things in the line. I was completely off with the looking glass and the illumination powder. None of this is important at all. It's li it is literally this is the next thing you need. I mean, you need the rock crystal, but like, this is the next thing you need. You need the light well so that you can get liquid starlight so that you can craft a starlight crafting altar. And this, um... I mean, I don't actually know what this does, uh, but then I know you need to create fossic energy. Or rather, you don't need to create fossic energy, you need the fossic resonator to see where the fossic energy in the world is. Now, fossic energy is like this invisible uh, piece of topography, I guess you could call it, or at least a very good example as to what I'm talking about is topography. For those that don't know what topography means, it means the height and depth of a landscape. So, for example, how high certain parts are, and how low certain parts are. It's the same concept, just with fossic energy. Now, fossic energy is... It's basically starlight that is collected on the ground. Um, and you know how the world has, like, high parts and it has low parts? There are certain areas of the world with high amounts of fossic energy and low amounts of fossic energy. And this basically means if you set up in an area with high fossic energy, you have more of a uh, affinity to starlight. Your tools are more sensitive to starlight, so you need less of it in order to do more with it. Now, this is the type of stuff I probably should have known before I started planning my first base and then started building my actual base. Because for all I know, I have built these in the least fossic areas on the map. And judging by how quick that starlight altar lost its fossic energy, I genuinely wouldn't be surprised if that was the case. Um, but until it becomes nighttime again and I can actually craft the things that I need, I'm better off just basically looking uh, into getting the things that I need for this stuff. So for this stuff, I can craft it easily, I just need the liquid starlight, I have all of the other pieces. 
it's um, it's literally just waiting for nightfall. So what I'm what I'm going to do instead is I'm actually going to go over to this cannon that should be building my base, and I'm going to try and see if I can get it to work. Because while, as you can tell, it worked to an extent, uh, for some reason now I just can't get it to work at all. Um, it's basically just consuming gunpowder and doing nothing. Like, look at it. It's it's not even playing right now. But when I do press play, this is what it does. It just sort of um, glitches about. I'm not sure why. I'm not sure what it's trying to achieve. But um, yeah, this is this is what it does. Uh, I, I guess I could try moving it, like, to a closer place, but I don't particularly see how that would help. Like, as long as it's within range of the schematic, shouldn't it be working? Isn't that, like, the cannon's whole thing? Like, if I move the cannon over here... ...and place it down, and then give it the gunpowder. Shit, that was the last of my gunpowder. Um, and then give it the blueprint. Okay, and it's raining, which is fucking great. Um, replace with empty, right? That's what I usually have it on. The cannon will clear out all blocks in its working area, including those replaced by air. There we go. Um, wait, does rain mean stars? Oh, please tell me rain means stars. I mean, I can't see the stars, but please tell me the rain means stars. No, no starlight. Okay, I was, I was both right and wrong, so that's something. Right, um... Ah, oh shit, I should really EMC some more gunpowder. In between episodes, I moved the, um... In between episodes, I moved the energy condenser back over to the shit shack. Not because we needed it for an episode, but because, uh, I didn't want Ruby to know I'd taken it. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's best if we both know where this thing is. Um... Please tell me we have some gunpowder laying around that I can just EMC. Because I don't think we do. And I don't want to have to kill a creeper for it. Okay, from the looks of it, we don't have... Oh, yes, we do. Thank Christ for that. Okay. Let's just drop some gunpowder in here. There we go. And now we should be able to actually start the cannon. I just got done talking to Ruby, actually, now that I, uh, now that I bring him up. I, I still don't know fully where he disappears to whenever he goes off on one of his adventures, but, you know, we, we spoke for a while. It was, um, it was nice, to, it was nice to talk to him again, actually. I haven't seen him in a couple of days. It, it does sometimes worry me that he disappears for days at a time, but, you know, he always comes back, and, you know, he's always better off for it, so... Hey, there we go. It's actually finally shooting blocks out. Right. Maybe it is proximity. Maybe there's just, like, a proximity issue. Because it, the cannon was in the center and it wasn't doing this. Maybe it genuinely has to be able to, like, somehow, I don't know, see the floor? But yeah, this is, this is how I've been doing it. Because, you know, it kind of feels cheap, but on the other hand, it is a function of the mod, and I do have to, like, collect the resources anyway, so... It's technically legitimate. But, I don't know, I just... I'm not a very good builder in survival mode, so I figure, why not just build it in creative mode, and then use the create mod to bring it over? Although I do wish there was a way to make it go quicker, not gonna lie. Like, I get that it can't be instant, because that would just, just sort of be cheating, but, you know... There's, there's got to be a way to make it quicker, surely. Maybe it's a config option. Okay, you're actually building, which is good, but it's night time, so I actually have to go do this ritual really quickly. I can't lose track this time. Also, I, I must have been really lucky to be able to get that uh, ore under the floor. I'm getting shot at. And now there's a mummy and I'm out of food. This is great. Sorry, am I getting blazed in the overworld? Get fucked. Right. Thankfully, I don't need to run very far, so let's just get this done. Uh, crafting basin. Uh, resonating one. There we go. Look at that. It's really pretty. Okay, we've got ourselves the uh, light well. 
So next we need next we need to craft the Starlight Crafting Altar, which is two chiseled marble and four marble pillars and a rock crystal. Ah oh, crap, I can't actually craft the Starlight Crafting Altar because I need the liquid starlight bucket. Okay, never mind. You know what, we got one thing done tonight, so I can't be too I can't be too mad at that. Although I can be mad at the fact that I can't seem to get out, which is oh. Never mind, I've got an entire stack of sandstone here. Okay, so even though the base isn't finished and there are creepers crawling everywhere, um, I'm actually going to start setting up the uh, starlight uh, catching bin thing, the light well, uh, in the, the temple itself, just because, you know, it, it's got a floor, which basically means it's good enough. Um, but I'm going to put it over somewhere over here. About here. I'm going to put it here. Uh, and the way this works is you put down a light well, and there are certain things you can put over it. That's not where I wanted to put you. Actually, it is. Fuck off. There are certain things you can put over it to help it, like, collect starlight. And one of those things, and the easiest thing to get, is aquamarine. Now, that looks beautiful, and that is liquid starlight. Actually, kind of reminds me of the nebulas and galaxies. Yeah, it's really pretty. But yeah, you, you need to collect uh, a ton of this stuff to be able to uh, craft the next thing. Uh, and considering it's already midnight, I highly doubt I'm going to get enough of this to go and craft it already, but, um... No. Better late than never. I do want to check on the cannon again, though, because it's gone quiet. I saw you shoot, like, three blocks, and then you did nothing. Are you too far away? You shouldn't be. You should be able to just fire up there, right? What was that? Oh. Oh, yeah, uh, I forget. These things can break. I guess I just... I thought it took a lot more than that to... break. Oh. Lovely. There are creepers in my base. Oh my god, you do damage. Okay. I really would appreciate it if you didn't spawn in my base. Yeah, see the aquamarine over there just shattered. There we go. Oh, shit, what the fuck was that? Did that creeper just drop a diamond chest plate? Yes, please. Not gonna question that? Okay. I wondered why I had that. That's, um... There's got to be some sort of weird loot table for this mod pack, right? Because, you know, call me crazy, but, um... Creepers don't usually drop diamond gear. Right. Let's, uh, let's put another one of these shards on here. Here we go. I'm going to say the least likely thing to break are these rock crystals, but I don't have enough of them right now to be willing to basically, you know... Just break them. And we're back. Sorry about that. I just had some things that I need to get sorted. Um, yeah, as you can see, completely and totally, um, the base is fully built now. There's absolutely no uh, strings being pulled. There's no wool being pulled over anybody's eyes. What are you talking about? This is... The base is perfectly finished. I just need to add the fluid to the, uh... To the, to the spheres and stuff. And uh, then we're good. Yeah, totally. Or I need to get the cannon to actually do its job. Uh, because I, uh, yeah, unfortunately, this is kind of all a ruse. The, the thing isn't finished yet. Um, it's still very much not done. Uh, but we're getting there, uh, uh soon, hopefully. Oh, 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 that reminded me, that reminded me, that reminded me. Uh, this is finally full up, or at least as full up as it can be. It looks really pretty. But yeah, this is all liquid starlight. There's two buckets, buckets worth of space uh, in here. But yeah, let's start getting these ingredients. So what do we need? Uh, cut stone brick pillars. I need 42 of those, and that's actually relatively simple to get. So let's 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 get started. I need 42 of these. So let's so let's get that. Up 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 up. Uh. Hi. Sorry to interrupt. Uh, Drifter from the future here. I had to interrupt for a second here because, um, 
funny story. <laughs> I was going to do a montage where I just like showed me building like all of the things I needed to load into the schematic cannon to finish building my uh, my astral temple. Uh, but uh, so um, that was all I actually did. I just got the pillars and then I ended the recording session. I don't remember why. I, I didn't give a reason on video. Um, but I just ended the session pretty much immediately after grabbing those pillars. So I think something happened in, uh, in the layer above. But that aside, I'm here to say goodbye um, for past past me. So, um, yeah. If you enjoyed this episode of Starsick, um, I'm not sure why you would, the audio quality is terrible. It is gonna improve very soon, by the way. I didn't realize the audio of these past episodes was as bad as it was, but it, it, it's gonna improve, uh, really soon. But yeah, if you enjoyed it, leave a like, subscribe, join the Discord, um, make sure to leave a comment as well, um, just give me some information about, you know, why you like this series. And I'm just noticing now, I think those waves are turning the wrong way. Huh. No, wait. Yeah, they are the right way. Whatever. Anyway, uh... <laughs> oh, don't want to spoil that. I'll see you later, shitlords. Bye-bye. <laughs>